सो नाउ यू गोइंग टू लुक एट सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अरेथमेटिक एंड न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी सो इस लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन दे आर आस्किंग द वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव प्लस दिस ओके सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू राइट दिस एज अ नंबर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई इट्स इज द स्क्वायर ऑफ द नंबर राइट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग दिस एज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन आई कैन राइट एज टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव सो दिस इज हाउ आई एम राइटिंग दिस नाउ यूजिंग एन आइडेंटिटी यूजिंग एन आइडेंटिटी ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर यूजिंग दिस आइडेंटिटी आई कैन राइट दिस गिव इन इक्वेशन एज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव होल स्क्वायर विच इज विच इज वन स्क्वायर ना स्क्वायर ऑफ वन इज वन इट सेल्फ सो यू डू नॉट नीड टू सॉल्व दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स इक्वेशन जस्ट यूज दिस मैथमेटिकल आइडेंटिटी एंड विच गिवस दिस एज वन स्क्वायर फाइन ना लुक एट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी नंबर्स बिटवीन फोर हंड्रेड एंड एट हंड्रेड आर डिविजल बाई फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो वी नो दैट फॉर अ नंबर टू बी डिविजिबल बाय टू और थ्री नंबर्स इट शुड बी डिविजिबल बाय देयर एल सी एम एल सी एम सो एल सी एम ऑफ एल सी एम ऑफ फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स इज गोइंग टू बी सिक्सटी लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल मीन्स दिस इज द लीस्ट नंबर विच इज डिविजिबल बाय ऑल ऑफ दीज राइट विच इज अ मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑल दीज नंबर्स एग्जैक्टली डिविजिबल ओके so lcm of 4 5 6 is going to be 60 so uh, when you are dividing 800 by 60 i'm just seeing that how many multiples of 60 multiples of 60 from from 0 to 800 so what i do is i am going to divide 800 by 60 when i am going to divide 800 by 60 i am going to get going to get Thirteen, thirteen. Okay, this is not completely divisible, but the quotient is going to be thirteen. Now, multiples of sixty from zero to four hundred, zero to four hundred. When you are going to do this, you are going to get six. Six. This is not a complete exact division, although, but uh, the question is going to be six. So there are thirteen multiples of sixty from zero to eight hundred, out of which six are lying from zero to four hundred. So multiples of sixty from four hundred to eight hundred, four hundred to eight hundred is going to be seven. Seven. So the correct answer for this is going to be option one. Seven. Okay. So for a number to be divisible by two or three numbers, that number has to be divisible by their LCM least common multiple. Fine. Look at the next question. If sum of two numbers be a and the product be b, then the sum of their reciprocals. So let us consider that the two numbers are x and y. So what is this saying? Is sum of two numbers is x plus y is a, product is b, which is x y is b. So it is asking sum of their reciprocals. Sum of their reciprocals means one by x plus one by y. So if you just take LCM and write this, this is going to be. Already we know x plus y is a. X Y was B, so the sum of their reciprocal is going to be A by B. So option third, fine. Look at the next question. In a camp of one sixty students, provisions are available for ten days. If fifty forty uh, more students join the camp, then uh, how long will the provision last? Okay, see, uh, to solve any of questions of this kind, we are using a concept of man days. Okay, always, always number of days into number of people is going to be a constant. You might have seen questions like uh, five men take eight days to complete a work, two men take five days. Then how much days are going to these much people take? Always you can use this concept of man days. Okay, this product of man into days is a constant. Always, whenever you have to compare two situations, just multiply man with days in first situation and equate it to second situation. For example, when there were one sixty students, then ten days were manageable, which means one sixty into ten. For first case, man one sixty days ten one sixteen to ten. This should be equal to now forty students joined in, so the man the student will become two hundred. 
now how long will the provision last now we are supposed to provide days when you just perform this uh, so we got days as eight right so the correct option is going to be third one eight days okay so you can just use this concept of man days in labor questions in questions like this so many people uh, performing some work in these much days how many days will these much people take those type of questions also you can just use this concept of man days okay this is very time saving because if you are following the unitary method forming equations and everything a lot of time is going to be consumed okay look at the ne uh, next question three taps abc can fill a overhead tank in 4 6 and 12 hours how long would the three taps take to fill the tank if all of them are opened together now see if a tap a is taking 4 hours to fill a tank then in 1 hour in 1 hour how much tank will this tap fill in 1 hour a will fill a will fill 1 by 4th tank 1 by 4th tank similarly in 1 hour b is going to fill 1 by 6th tank and c will fill 1 by 12th tank 1 by 12th tank so combinedly together together in 1 hour all the taps together will fill 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12th tank I am just going to take LCM so this is going to become half tank okay so in 1 hour they are filling half tank so to completely fill the tank they are going to require 2 hours okay Two hours half tank is filled in one hour so to completely fill the tank they're going to require two hours okay or just just reciprocal of this now look at the next question a solid spherical copper ball whose diameter is 14 centimeters melted and converted into a wire having diameter equal to 14 see whenever you are melting some shape and forming another shape one thing that you have to remember is volume remains constant volume remains constant in in melting and in melting and forming melting and forming other shapes okay surface area lateral surface area everything is going to change but one thing that will remain constant is the volume because the matter contained in a, a shape in any shape is not going to change okay so volume is going to remain same so now uh, you know that volume of sphere volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube initially it was a spherical ball now it has been converted into a wire wire you know that it is in shape of a cylinder volume of cylinder is going to be pi r square h so both uh, okay i am taking this as capital r to avoid confusion so both of them are going to be same so i can just equate 4 by 3 pi r cube to pi r square h fine and just keep the values and find so uh, radius was 7 c they have given diameter just be a little bit careful in this uh, thing also in uh, questions they are generally giving the diameter only okay and when we are putting in the formula we are putting radius so just half it okay don't forget this because it will yield you in a wrong answer otherwise okay now the diameter of the wire is also 14 so this is going to be 7 they are asking the length of the wire or the height of the cylinder just find the height so this is going to be 28 by 3 28 by 3 centimeter also take care of the units since they have given everything in centimeters only so we just put the answer directly suppose they had given some dimension in meter or millimeter we'll have to change okay so the correct option is 4 look at the next question discount on a pair of shoes marked at rupees 475 and discounted at 15 percent okay so there is a pair of shoes on which mrp is given as 475 and uh, the shopkeeper is offering a 15 percent discount so how much discount are you going to get so discount is going to be 15 percent of 15 percent of 475 
फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ फोर सेवेंटी फाइव विच इज इफ यू जस्ट सॉल्व इट गोइंग टू गेट सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव राइट नाउ कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल इज रुपीज हंड्रेड डिस्काउंट सीरीज ऑफ फाइव परसेंट टेन परसेंट सक्सेसिवली रिड्यूस द प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल बाय सी कॉस्ट प्राइज वॉज हंड्रेड ओके ना दिस इज नॉट अ कम्बाइंड डिस्काउंट ओके दिस इज नॉट अ कम्बाइंड डिस्काउंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन परसेंट फर्स्टली यू आर गोइंग टू गेट अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ फाइव परसेंट सो डिस्काउंट ऑफ फाइव परसेंट यू आर गेटिंग फर्स्ट आफ्टर विच द सी पी इज गोइंग टू बिकम कॉस्ट इज गोइंग टू बिकम नाइंटी फाइव सो यू गॉट यू ऑलरेडी गॉट अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ रुपीज फाइव राइट नाउ Now again, you are going to get discount of ten percent on this CP. Okay, this has now become the CP. Discount of ten percent means of rupees nine point five, nine point five. So uh, the total discount, total cost reduction that is happening here is total discount is going to be rupees five plus rupees nine point five, which is rupees fourteen point five. Fourteen point five. So the correct option is going to be second option. Okay. Now a grinder was marked at rupees thirty six hundred. After giving a discount of ten percent, the dealer made a profit of eight percent. Calculate the cost price. So they have given us the marked price. They given us the discount percentage and also the profit percent. They are asking you to calculate the calculate the cost price. Okay, fine. So uh, what you can understand here is uh, suppose. Let C P was X. Let C P was X. Then C. You know that cost pli uh, price plus profit. Cost price plus profit was the marking price minus discount, right? Mas marking price minus discount minus discount. so i can say what i can say is if cost price was x x profit was 8% of x 8% of x this is going to be 3600 minus 10% of 3600 this is what happened right after giving a discount on the marked price after giving a discount of 3600 Discount of ten percent on thirty six hundred. The dealer made a profit of eight percent. Profit is always calculated on the cost price. We suppose that cost price was X. Profit of eight percent. This is going to be equal to mark price minus discount, which makes this so. If you just calculate it. is going to become 3000 3000 so the answer is option first fine now look at this question if x square plus 9y square is this much then x is to y see we have to find the ratio between x and y but this is a equation in both of the variables this term is there right so you cannot just uh, divide by x over you're not going to find the ratio so what i can uh, see here is i can see an identity here this is x square Plus three y whole square minus two into three x into y. I can write this term like this. Okay, this is equal to zero. So what I can write is x minus three y whole square using the same identity using a square plus b square minus two ab is equal to a minus b whole square. Using the same identity, I can write that this is zero. If a square of a number is zero, then this number is also zero. This implies x minus three y is equal to zero. So now x is two y is going to be x is two y is going to be three is to one. Okay, I just just brought y here. So this is three is to one. So the correct option for this question is going to be third, right? Now, in a school, one tenth of the boys are same in number as one fourth of the girls, and five eighth of the girls are same in number as one fourth of the boys. So they are asking you the ratio of uh, boys to girls. Okay, let us suppose B are the number of boys, G is the number of girls. So what they are saying is, one tenth of the boys are same in number as 
वन फोर्थ ऑफ द गर्ल्स एंड फाइव एट ऑफ द गर्ल्स आर सेम इन नंबर एज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द बॉयज सो दे आर आस्किंग इज द रेशो ऑफ बॉयज इज टू गर्ल्स विच वुड बी फाइव इज टू टू फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी बॉयज इज टू गर्ल्स गोइंग टू बी फाइव इज टू टू राइट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन टू फाइव इज टू टू ओके नाउ इन अ प्रेप स्कूल एवरेज वेट ऑफ थर्टी गर्ल्स इन अ क्लास अमंग फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट सिक्सटीन के जी एंड दैट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग स्टूडेंट्स फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव वॉट इज द एवरेज वेट ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास सी वेन एवर यू आर गिवन ओके सो फर्स्टली वॉट इज एवरेज एवरेज इज सम ऑफ सम ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन अपॉन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन डेफिनेशन ऑफ एवरेज इज सम ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन अपॉन नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके सो इन अ प्रेप स्कूल एवरेज वेट ऑफ थर्टी गर्ल्स सो सम ऑफ वेट सम ऑफ दिस वेट ऑफ थर्टी गर्ल्स इज गोइंग टू बी सो वी कैन फाइंड द सम बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग एवरेज multiplying average with the number of girls so uh, this is going to be sum of weight is going to be 16 into 30 16 into 30 which is 480 now there are 20 students remaining right sum of uh, sum of weights of sum of weight of remaining 20 remaining 20 students so this is going to be 15.5 into 20 Fifteen point five into twenty, which is going to make this three hundred ten, right? So now sum of weights of all the students, all students. This is going to be three hundred ten plus four eighty, which is five hundred ninety. Okay, now we can find the average, average of class, which is going to be five ninety upon total number of students, which is fifty, fifty. so this becomes how much is going to be uh okay i made a mistake somewhere okay so this is going to be 7 right this is going to be 7 so 790 so when you divide 790 by 5 you're going to get uh, 1 uh, 5 15.8 kg 15.8 so option 2 okay so this is how you going to find the average of class now the average age of a husband and his wife was 23 years uh, at the beginning of their marriage after 5 years they have a 1 year old child average age of the family of 3 when the child was born okay see average age of husband and wife suppose their ages were x and y so x plus y by 2 is 23 which means x plus y was 46 at beginning after 5 years age of each of them is going to increase by 5 years right so after 5 years after 5 years what happens is they have a 1 year old child they have a 1 year old child fine so uh, now average is going to be average is going to be x plus y Plus ten, plus ten because age of both of them would have increased by five years each. So I am adding ten plus one because they have a one year old child. Okay, so they are asking uh, for average when the child was born. When child was born, the age of child would have been zero, and they their ages would have increased by four years each. Four years each. Okay. Because after five years they are having a one year old child, so the child would have been born after four years of marriage. So this is going to be plus three. Already we know x plus y is forty six, so I am just putting it here. So it's going to give the average age as eighteen years, eighteen, right? So this is going to be the correct option for this one. Okay. 
Now, a shop care, a shopkeeper purchased a TV for 2000 and a radio for 750. He sells the TV at a profit of 20% and radio at a loss of 5%. So, total loss again they are asking. Fine, see, cost uh, price for TV is 2000 and for radio is 750. And he is selling a TV at a profit. Uh, just calculate the profit for TV. Profit is going to be 20% of 2000. Which is 400 rupees. Loss is going to be 5% of 750. Which is 37.5 rupees. So uh, in total he is having a gain. Gain. Gain of rupees. 400 minus 37.5. 400 minus 37.5. Which is going to give you. Rupees 362.5. So correct answer is he's having a net gain of rupees 362.5. Look at the next question. A container containing 400 liters of oil lost 8% by leakage. So oil left in the container. See if it has lost 8% by leakage, then uh, oil left, oil left is going to be 92%. It had 400 liters, so now. 92% of 400 is going to be left. So how many? 368 liters is going to be left. Right. Now in an election, three candidates contested. The first candidate, uh, okay, it's not clear. The first candidate got 40% vote. Second candidate got 36%. And if total number of votes polled were 36,000, find the number of votes got by third candidate. See, if total number of votes polled were 36,000, right? 36,000. Out of which 40% were uh, taken by first candidate. 36% by second. So, how much percentage of votes are left? Totally, they are constituting. Totally, they constitute of 76% votes. Which means 24% votes were casted for the third candidate. 24% of 36,000. So, number of votes, number of votes for this one is 24% of 36,000. 36,000. If you just uh, calculate this, if you just do this multiplication, you are going to get this. 8640 which is option 2 so the correct answer is going to be the second option now a train traveled at a speed of 36 km per hour for the first 10 minutes and at speed of 22 kilo, uh, 20 km per hour for the next 5 minutes average speed of the train see average speed average speed in any case is going to be total distance upon total time Total distance upon total time. Now this train is traveling. First 10 minutes is it's traveling at 35 km per hour. Then for 5 minutes it is traveling at 20 km per hour. So I have already got total time of 15 minutes right. 1 fourth hour I have got. What I need is total distance. So how am I going to find this is. Distance. Distance is uh, what is the uh, formula where distance we are having? Speed into time. Speed into time. So from here 35 into 10 by 60. See the time and the speed is uh, in hours. So I am converting this minutes into hour on, uh, only. Okay. So the distance in first, first is going to be 35 by 6 kilometer. Distance in second spell is going to be 20 into 5 by 60 which is 10 by 6 kilometer so total distance is going to be total distance is going to be 35 by 6 plus 10 by 6 and total time is going to be 10 by 60 plus 5 by 60 which makes this 45 by 6 into 15 by 60. Such that average speed is going to be 30 km per hour, which is option 1, 30 km per hour, right? 
now if a sum of money amounts to rupees uh, 12900 and 14250 at the end of fourth and fifth year at a certain rate of interest then the rate is see if uh, this is they be using simple interest so the, at the end of fourth year this was the total amount and end of fifth year this was the total amount so by subtracting these two i can just find out the simple interest simple interest can be found by subtracting both of them right so this is the simple interest also you know that you know that simple interest formula for simple interest is going to be going to be p r t by 100 just principal into rate into time upon 100 now see this is the simple interest for one year right this is a simple interest for one year so simple interest for four years simple interest for four years would have been 4 into 1350 rupees 4 into 1350 which is rupees 5400 okay so this amount this amount 12900 this constitutes of rupees 12900 is principal principal plus simple interest for 4 years simple interest for 4 years so principal is going to be Twelve nine zero zero minus simple interest for four years, which makes this rupees seven thousand five hundred. So rupees seven thousand five hundred. Now we've got the principal. We've got the time. Just we can just find the rate. So from here we can see that rate is going to be rate is going to be simple interest into hundred upon principal into time okay so simple interest uh, calculated just putting the values now 5400 into 100 upon 7500 into 4 which if you calculate you're going to answer get the answer as 18 percent so option 3 so option 3 is going to be the correct answer uh, now see this is a question of uh, this this uh, related to this table the following table gives the result of a survey based on some newspaper reading habits you just have to study this table and answer the questions the first question that they're asking is number of people who read only english now see only english on only english means they are asking this column this column so they do not uh, they're not bothered about the salary groupings they're just asking the total number of people reading only english newspaper so we're just going to add all these add all the three entries so if you just add all these entries you're going to get 654 so number of people reading only english newspaper is going to be 654 correct option is going to be second now last question is total number of people surveyed total number of people surveyed means either they're reading newspaper only english only in the whatever they're just asking you what is the total number total number means you need to add all the entries all the 12 entries when you just perform addition of all the columns and all the rows you're going to get a total of 1936 1936 you can just verify by adding so the answer for this is going to be option 4